be set. The women's 1500 meters T20 final. The intellectual category, the women's equivalent of what we've just seen. Going in this, the European World and Paralympic champion, Barbara Novizia. She's there, second from the left of your picture. First of all, the Asian Games silver medalist from three years ago, Inichio and Misaki Ari of Japan. But the woman they all have to beat, the European World and Paralympic champion, the three times world champion in Doha, three times Barbara Novizial of Poland. From Osaksaki in Japan, seven in the 1500 meters in Rio, Miyoko Yamamoto. Now here come the twins, silver in the Europeans, in Swansea in 2014, Bernadette Biaxi, and silver in Rio, and in Grisetto last year, Ilona. Previous being the European champion too. First major championship for the United States, Caitlin Bounds, who lives in Arizona now. The former world champion from 2011 at this distance, and the reigning European 800 meters champion from Poland, Ateta Melo. Lane three for Ukraine, bronze three times in global 1500 meters finals, one in the Paralympics in Rio, twice in the world's Lyudmila Danila. First major championship for the 14 year old from Turkey, Muzin Geza. And on the inside for Japan, bronze in the 400 and the 1500 of the Asian Games, three years ago, Sayaka Makita. The world record held by Barbara Nevizial when she took gold at London 2012. Twice Paralympic champion, twice world champion. Can Nevizial get a hat-trick of world crowns and a fifth global gold at this distance? Nevizial and Melok for Poland, Piaxi, Piaxi for Hungary, Yamamoto and Ari for Japan, Makita there for Japan also. But bounding clear, it is Caitlin Bounds for the United States. Well, we saw this tactic in the men's final, and it didn't work, but will it work for Caitlin? 25-year-old Californian, now based in Arizona. Remember, it's the intellectual category, and the T20 athletes must have a proven lack of tactical ability. There are various tests that are carried out, but it's Bounds who leads with three laps to go. So Bounds is out in front by about 20 metres, an exact replica of what we saw in the last race with Morris of Great Britain. Makita in second place, and Nevitziel has now made a move up ahead of Makita. She said, I'm not going to let you get too far ahead of me, Caitlin Bounds. I'm going to try and bring the bounding steps of you down, for want of a better word as they all really bunch together. There's a good four, five, six, seven athletes in there now, led by Barbara Novitziola of Poland. As she aims for another gold medal at these championships. Quite an athlete indeed she is. 20 metres remaining between her and the athlete in front of her, though, that she's going to have to close if she's going to try and pick up gold in this competition. But Bound still remains in front. It's around this stage in the last race, with around seven or 800 metres to go, that we saw Morris of Great Britain really struggle in the men's equivalent of this one. The chasing pack are working well together. Levitiel up there with Makita as well. And also in there, it looks like Geze of Turkey, as they come over with two laps remaining. 800 metres left in the women's 1500 metres T20. Bounds looking up at the big screen here at the London Olympic Stadium with some concern. Nevitiel at the front of the chasing pack, ready to pounce, looking to take full advantage. Because they're not doing too badly either, you must say, for Turkey. And Melok is up there as well. Bounce in front, Nevitiel in second place, and Danilina of Ukraine, three major global bronze medals to her name, including Rio and Doha two years ago and Christchurch in 2011. Bounds is being reeled in. Nevitsial slowly about to overtake. Danila two, and the Peloton is now effectively caught up. Bounds gave it a very, very good go. She's back in the pack. 
and now she has to hope that they don't swarm around and all overtake. That lean on the outside, the VTL pushing up just behind. They've allowed bounds a few more seconds of glory, but now the VTL, this past master of this discipline, the T20, heads out in front, along with Danilina and the two Biaxi sisters, Bernadette to the left, Ilona to the right, and they're up the bell in the 1500 meters final. And the Vitsial takes the bell in first place with Danilina of Ukraine right next to her European compatriot. It's Hungary in third place. The Biaxis both up there looking like they're going to try and get a medal, but at this present time, there's only one of them who looks like they're going to be in there. It's Yona Biaxi who's up there in third place. But it's Poland's Barbara Navitial. She looks strong, she looks firm. Danielina of the Ukraine is up there with her though. Who's going to make the break first though? That's the question. As all three looked ahead at the same time. But it's Navitial who leads. Danielina in second. Yona Biaxi in Hungary who's in third place. Barbara Navitial, she holds the championship record. She holds the world record as well. That was set five years ago. What can she come up with here? It maybe isn't going to be a record of any kind, but it's going to be Barbara Navitiel as she stretches out in the home straight. Navitiel, five, six, seven metres away. What an athlete she is. She's going to make it back-to-back -back championships in the 1,500 metres as she goes down across the line in a time of 4.33.83. Danilina of Ukraine goes through in second place. And it's Yona Biaxi of Hungary who comes home in third, followed by Bernadette Biaxi in fourth place. But what a run there from Barbara Navitiel. Yes, yet again, Barbara Navitiel. That's now three 1,500 metres world titles in a row. The Biaxi twins, talented athletes in their own right. Ilona getting the better of Bernadette this time. Major switching between those two. Aleta Manok in fifth place. Now, she was in her prime. The original time the T20s were in the Para family before 2000, then they took 10 years off. That lead a great performance for her, again in second place from the Ukraine. But, well, Barbara Navitial, she's the number one again. Yeah, and then, they, then where tactics so important is that that's when the disability really shows and we saw that after going out really fast in the beginning and being eaten up by the field and um, ended up finishing in the in the farther back. The VTL gets the gold again for Poland. Brilliant enough.